Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, let's create new null object for control these elements. Right click, new and null object. And let's move to here this null object and for move to anchor point center, hold control and double click pen behind icon. Clicization tool and select these all of them layers without background link to null object and select background lock layer for now select null press s and open scale change scale like this and press r open rotation and chain rotation like this and move to center so in this time let's hold shape press p and create new passing q frame and new rotation q frames and go to 10 q frames for shortcut, you can press hold shift page down keyboard and change rotation like this and move to left this null object. Let's see. Okay, we can change rotation to left and go to 10 keyframes again. And let's chain rotation and move to right this null object. Let's see. Okay, we can move to right and down like this and chain rotation. So select two frames and right click two frame assistant and easy or click F9. Preview animation. So select two frames, go to graph editor and let's zoom in here. Select these middle two frames and move to left. Again, select middle two frames and move to right. Let's see. Okay, back to two frames and select two frames. Let's move to right. Okay, and go to 10 two frames. Let's move to back and chain rotation. And go to again 10 two frames. Select first two frames, copy paths for loop animation. Let's see. Okay, so go to last few frame and press N for select work area and right click and choose work area like this. Okay, so let's add some dynamic two frames. Go to middle two frame and move it down like this. Let's see. Okay, go to here. Again, let's move it down and go to here let's move to up okay and go to here again let's move to down for more dynamic keyframes okay i like it so go to second rotation keyframe and we can chain rotation to left more like this let's see okay i like it so let's add reflection go to shape layers and hold this rectangle tool and go to like this here and let's create one rectangle like this and change stroke with zero go to fill and use green color like this click ok and clicization tool and move to like this and change scale and select this rectangle one inside the shape layer one and let's control d rectangle one so we have two shape layers inside the shape layer one and select rectangle two move to up and change scale and change shape layer name reflection close settings and let's track mat let's click toggle switch mode and go to track mat let's track to color layer and select color let's enable select this reflection press t and change opacity and select reflection link to null object let's see okay so in this time select reflection press p and create new passing q frame and move to right go to next q frame let's move to down and go to next q frame again 
and move to right. So hey, keyframes make it easy. And let's go to here. Move to back and let's shoe frame, say first shoe frame, copy pass. Let's see. Okay, I like it. So select two frames, go to graph editor, and let's make it graph like in this main layer null object. Also, these two frames, let's make like in this color layer. So back to two frames and select this less shoe frame, move to here for replace less shoe frame. And select first shoe frame, copy and go to last shoe frame, control V for paste. Nice. So let's create line animation. Close these settings and go to pen tool. And let's go to first second and create one line like this. Inclusion tool, go to fill, click none for turn off inside the color, click OK. And stroke color, let's change 5 or 10. And select shape layer, go to add and use trim path. Open trim path 1. In first second, change end 0. And create end keyframe. Go to here and change 100. Make it keyframes easy. And go to back. In this time, let's create start keyframe and go to here change 100 for turn off stroke animation and also make it two frames easy for start layer let's see okay select last two frame move to right select shape layer one press u for see only active two frames and let's see timing okay we can use here and let's select start two frame move to right okay that's good and let's move to here and let's zoom in here, open inside and shape one stroke, choose here, change bed cup to run cup for smooth start and end lines. So change name line first and let's control D for duplicate, move to right. Okay, in this time, let's go to pen tool and change this line to right and press R, chain rotation okay, that's good and we can move to left a little bit for more speedly nice, I like it Select all of them layers, click toggle switch mods, and click this icon for add motion blur. Also, don't forget to enable here for main settings of motion blur. Let's see. Nice, very good. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments, and have a good day. Good luck.